Okay, welcome to the drawing board. This is going to be episode two, and I am Min. I am the host, and I'm an artist. I done some illustrations for magazines, newspapers. Um, I also design, um, and I also teach art classes for senior citizens. And um, so, part of the reason I'm doing this class is because due to COVID nineteen, my classes have been canceled, and so. I am um, doing this these classes now online and uh, right now today what we're gonna talk about um, is figure drawing which we sort of did last time we talked about it last time um, but last time we talked mostly about um, using the uh, the basic fundamental shapes to build the body but we didn't really talk about proportions so today I want to talk about as you can see here, more about proportions. So this is what I'm gonna try and do today. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Well, before we actually get right into this, let's start with a little bit of um, warm up exercises. So let me put this aside for now. Um, so for warm up exercises, last time we just did scribble various shapes. Now I wanna scribble shapes that are more in the form of bodies because we're going to be drawing doing figure drawing so I'm just going to loosely you know, don't worry about it if you don't get the proportions and everything just right um, but this is you know something that you want to work on from time to time you know if you're traveling if you're people watching um, you know it's good to just sketch people and people move around quickly so you want to be able to quickly do some sketches and um, also if you ever attend any figure drawing sessions a lot of times they start out doing quick poses quick poses that are like you know one or two minutes and they work their way up to like five minute poses and, and then they work their way up to like 10 and 30 minute poses so you know this is a very typical warm-up exercise that you would do Um, hold on one second here. Uh, so it's good to do this too because you want to be able to kind of trust your hands to, to kind of interpret what you're seeing. Because a lot of times when I'm sketching, I'm not even looking at the paper, I'm like looking at the subject. So, you know, you want to be able to, to uh, kind of draw without thinking too much. Uh, Sorry, I accidentally closed, opened my eyes for a second there. Um, but for the most part, I'm keeping my eyes closed and just kind of sketching. Yeah. Why am I getting a phone call? Anyway, I'm going to ignore that. Live TV. So that's what happens. Hopefully, you're not hearing that. Hopefully, it's just me anyway so that's my person that I'm sketching with my eyes closed so you can see so, you know his arm is kind of floating off the air here but that's okay because that this is just all warm up exercise to get and get you started okay so now I'm gonna get into drawing figure drawing like actually understanding how to draw things in proportion so let me get rid of this camera here and so we'll start off with the head and we'll, we'll draw for the first one we're going to draw someone staring at us head on and the the reason we want to start off with the head is we we want to make the body generally seven the, the length of seven heads so one two three four five six that's a little ugly circle here six seven and um and we're just gonna draw a couple of lines across here okay so the head is actually not going to be the full size of the circle here 
Um, we actually are going to break the head down into two little circles here. I'm going to break it down in one circle, and we'll divide this little circle in half and another line here. Because what happens is you'll have the eyes along this line here. You have the nose along this line. And we'll divide this portion in half as well. And this will be where the mouth goes. And the ear will go halfway between. It'll basically go between the eyes and the nose line here. Okay, so that's our head. And then we draw the, the chest, the whip, rib cage. We'll start a little bit below this line here. And we'll go a little bit past this circle here. And we're doing everything relative to circles. These circles are not a particular unit of measurement or anything like that. And, you know, the seven circles is just a rough estimate. If you're drawing like a superhero or an athlete, you know, it might be, uh, you know, eight or nine circles tall. Um, if you're drawing someone who's, you know, an elderly or a child, you know, they might be a little bit smaller. So we're just drawing everything relative to the units here. Um, so that's the chest. I like to draw another smaller circle for the stomach and the pelvis to do a little cone. Um, and the hip line should basically be a little bit more than half. This should be a little bit more than half than here. And I'm gonna draw shoulders. This length here should be roughly one and a half times the head. So if this was the head, this is about half here, right? Now, the I'm going to draw the hands coming straight down. And from the elbow to the tip of the hand, that should be roughly two head lengths. And uh, the hands, if they're going straight down, they should roughly be halfway where the thigh is. Actually, I'm going to make the thighs come in a little bit more. This is more like a character model sheet. So. Okay, so we have the basic figure here. Now I can outline it, give it a little more detail. See, I'm just kind of roughly doing this. And along this line here, I'm going to give it where the chest and the pectoral muscles are. Also, it's very good to include where the collarbone is. That's usually a very defining line. The neck kind of comes down. You can kind of see there's a little chisel look here.
and right where the stomach is, this is going to right in the middle of this ball here. This is where it's going to be narrowest, and it's going to come back out. definition where the knee joints are and the calf muscle comes out same thing for this leg here a little more definition where the ankle joint is and I'm not gonna get into too much details with where the toes are for now we could do a whole lesson on hands and toes so I'm just gonna quickly draw this. Okay, so there is our person. Not a very good looking person, but yeah, it'll do. Okay, so let's do this one more time, except for I'm gonna do a, a profile. So I'll do it on this side here. And so there's the head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and again, the head is going to be actually comprised of a smaller circle, and then the chin kind of extends from that. And I'm going to draw a line here and a line here. And the reason I want to draw a profile too is to show you that you know the ears, you know, it's like halfway between these two points here, and then we have to think about the eyes, the eyes is also will take up about half of the distance between here and there this is all going to matter when when we start trying to draw it in a more natural shape natural perspective and it's good to really define the, the chin the jawline there So there's the head, and we're going to draw this person with a very good posture, standing up straight. So this kind of comes forward and extends back in here, and the back kind of arches like this. It's got a little sloppy there. Okay. And that's where the buttocks is. And this is that stubborn belly fat that all the weight loss commercials tell you about. And the thighs comes back like this. This is where a knee joint is. And the calf muscles. Draw the ankle ball joint there. Okay, and we're gonna draw the shoulder. And we're gonna draw the arms going back a little bit just so that we can see the body a little bit better. But same thing, this elbow should be along here. And then we'll have the hands extend out. We'll see a little bit more of the hands in this profile view. Again, it should come down about halfway to where the um, where the thigh is. Okay, so that is our profile view. I think I made the head a little small because this line dipped down instead of going straight. So I'm gonna correct that. Okay, so that's our profile view of a person. But, you know, this is good for understanding uh, proportions, but it looks very unnatural, right? Unless somebody is, you know, in a you know prison lineup or something, you don't really find them standing like this. So 
how do we draw someone that is a little more natural? Um, so first of all, I want to talk about line of action. We want to give kind of a smooth line that the, the body follows. Um, so from there, let's, let's start drawing one that follows this line of action. Again, we'll start with the head. And now we're, we're looking at it instead of straight on or straight from the side. We're going to see it at a more natural perspective. So I'm going to so break the head into two pieces. So this is the sphere, and this is where the chin extends down. And I'm going to draw, break this sphere in half. And that's where the, our eye line is going to be. And then where the bottom is, is where our nose line is going to be. I'm not going to get into too much detail here because I don't want this to be a lesson about the face. But there you have it. You can kind of see the face forming. And the ear. And that's really important jawline. Okay, and we'll start building up the other shapes. It's going to define our body here. So it's going to be that's going to be the length of it. Um, I'm going to draw the chest region. This is going to be where the stomach is. This is where the hip is. Now. Here's the important thing. When we're drawing this, we want to think about how our body emphasizes weight on one side or another. Because we rarely stand with our weight evenly distributed. We tend to offset our weight and put it to one side. So I'm going to say the shoulder is going to go like this. And I'm exaggerating, probably not this much. But I'm going to, for the sake of the lesson, I'm going to exaggerate. So if the, the shoulder line goes like this, generally the hip line goes in the opposite direction, so it goes like this. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a very typical pose, and a very typical pose where you would really notice the weight being offset to one side or another. And that pose is going to be someone standing with their hands on their hip. Now, the body's going this way, the leg is going on here. And usually, one of the legs will be bearing more of the weight. So it'll be more flat footed. Whereas the other leg tends to extend out a little bit more. Now that we have the skeletal structure kind of put together, we could kind of skin it and add some of those curves and definitions for the body.
there you have someone kind of standing with the hip to one side. I think looks like there's some correction that needs to be done a little bit. So sometimes it's good to also step back from the drawing. So you're doing someone, uh, I don't know, like let's say someone punching. You want to follow this line of action. Um, if you're doing like, let's say someone stretching, doing like a yoga pose, same thing you want, you know, you could do the seven circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's do one more. So, so you could do someone like this. Still maintain that blue, that line of action. You could probably tell that I don't actually do yoga myself because I don't really know yoga poses. But here's a person stretching, and it looks a little more dynamic when you have that line of action. Same thing as you're doing someone doing a punch. So I think that's pretty much the point of what I want to get across today. I'm trying to keep these lessons very simple and bite-sized so that you can really focus on one or two things each time. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, if you're interested, you could definitely go to my website, see more of what I do. Um, now I have my website here and you can contact me. I am available for hire. I am a freelance illustrator as well as an instructor. So yeah, feel free to contact me and I think that would be it for today. All right.